It's lunchtime. Hey, everybody. Happy hump day Wednesday morning. I hope you guys are uh, having a wonderful week. Hope it's flying by. I hope that you guys are... What the heck? Why is my phone blowing up? No, it's Facebook telling me. Hey, I'm live. <laughs> All righty, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Let's get everyone in the room. Have another dramatic reading coming up. And some also fun stuff that have just been placed on the catacombs. But first, real quick guys, let's get everything situated and straightened. I'd like to uh, introduce my new uniform. My lovely wife made me, Susie Powell. Thank you very much, Susie Powell, for making this and coming up with this amazing idea for my jumpsuit. Um, I, I absolutely love this. Um, it's going to get added to quite a bit, so uh, got to get some buttons and some more of these uh, patches on here. But thank you very much, uh, honey. I love it. I appreciate the idea. This is going to look so great when we get it all jazzed up some more. So wanted to debut it. And Say good Wednesday morning, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me today here at the Sworn Nation, where I get to tell you guys the Sworn, the Fiends, and everyone that's here for the love of all things Coffin Comics. All things from the demented mind of Brian Polito. So, um, I want to go ahead and start things off and show you some of the stuff that's on the catacombs. Remember, this stuff goes quickly. Um, the last few weeks, I think there's maybe three to four items left that have not sold out. Um, I still have two Monty Moore art books with remarks, and I think I have like one or two other editions floating around. All the jewelry that I showed on Monday is sold out. So this lovely little necklace here, this is a sample we've had in display here at HQ for a while. So I am uh, out of the necklaces, both silver and gold, and I'm out of the pens, both in silver and gold. So if you guys are interested in these, please let us know. Um, there's something we wanted to try out, see if there was an interest out there for um, this type of item. Um, the skull design was uh, based off of the Stephen Hughes de design he did. That was part of Lady Death's costume uh, right here on the straps. Those are the two skulls. Um, couldn't find an old image of it, um, but um, looking up online, you can find it. But it's really cool. Uh, thank you, Fran, for giving me the, all the great information on those. So if you guys are interested, please let us know that you'd like to see maybe those uh, pens, uh, maybe some more of those necklaces. Like I say, I only had uh, one of each necklace and maybe two of each style of pens, and that was it. And they didn't last. So... Um, those who bought it were really excited. Um, I saw a lot of you guys' posts. Speaking of posts, I want to do a shout out here. Um, I saw someone post here, um, Karen Barry, uh, Barry Walsh. Um, she got something amazing for her collection. So I want to give a shout out to Jeffrey uh, Walsh for uh, hooking up Karen Barry Walsh. I have a feeling you guys are related. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but. That, uh, he got her a graded edition of an old uh, Lady Death Bad Kitty um, edition, and it's absolutely amazing. Obviously, um, she needed this to complete her collection, and oh my gosh, that is a cool gift. So, shout out to Jeffrey and Karen. Um, also, um, shout out again to Mr. Jay Taylor. Um, he uh, has written another poem that he's posted on the Sworn Nation. And I will be reading that here dramatically, uh, like I did last time. I really love these poems. And if you guys have, you know, little fun things that you want me to do shout outs of, uh, make sure they're, you know, coffin comics related, um, please do. Uh, thank you everyone for joining me today. And uh, <clears throat> if I may, read uh, today's selection from a Mr. J. Taylor. Are we ready? <clears throat> first things first. This is called Hope, the Beginning. Youth, fair and innocent. Her mother, a pure love. Her father, a tyrant. 
blonde haired and full of life. But what would, but that would end one fateful night. Burn the witch, they would scream, a fright beyond her wildest dream. Uttering the words overheard from her father, she made the pact a human no longer. Long did she endure tor torture and abuse. A rage was building, a need for power to let loose. A friend she found in an exiled smith, darkness full, forged the ultimate gift. Hope no longer, now the lady death. Her father would die if it meant her last breath. Wolves at her side, her, uh, her held, her held reins of her steed, the uprising begins, her father would bleed. In the wake of the chaos, Lucifer did curse. The living were her obstacle to return to earth. Lady Death waged her rebellion to settle the score, to lay ways to her enemies. Hope no more. Thank you, Jay Taylor. Another amazing poem. Thank you so very much. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm getting fun stuff like this. So, um, everyone, round of applause and shout out to Jay Taylor. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. I'd like to see, hopefully, everyone's doing virtual applauses for him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, real quick, um, before I get things started, there's going to be some announcements of the last of the La Muerta Retaliation Kickstarter items will be hitting Friday. Friday, you'll be seeing the last of the stuff from that Kickstarter. And there is very few editions, like the hollow uh, foil edition is almost sold out for that, and a couple other editions as well. So if you've been um, delaying, especially on that dark reaper image, don't, don't. That is an amazing cover. It is both uh, the image for our metallic jeweled edition, and I highly recommend it because that is one beautiful, beautiful piece of work. So. Without further ado, let me show you what I got up here on the catacombs for everyone. First things first, we have a homage edition, Hell Witch Hellborn, Marat Michaels, and it also has a Marat Michaels remark and signed by Brian Polito. All I have is the one right here, the one and only copy. One remark by Marat Michaels, Signed by Brian Polito, and it does include the very beautiful red coffin COA. Uh-oh, technical stuff, technical stuff. Is something come undone? Is it reading? It is reading. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. And those are the chords for last think? week? Yeah. Okay. Right. I also want to change some. <laughs> it's great working in HQ when you do live shows. Oh my god. Wow, I didn't know those came off. Woo! Wow, bright light, sir. Bright light. Wow. Makes it... I may end up melting on camera for you guys. Wow. Woo! Alright. Yeah. Let's do half and half. Alright, there you go. I'm half orange and half white. Wow, so yeah. spots. Should have warned you. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Plug something. in good. Unplug. Replug. Unplug. Replug. Oops. Looks like everything connected. All right. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. We had a technical break with the famous and amazing Jimmy Coffin. So thank you very much, Jimmy, for the assist. Another cool item up. I got a lot of fun little mock-ups for all you Hell Witch fans. A lot of Hell Witch books I'm offering up today on the catacombs. So, you big fan? Well, I got some beautiful books for you. I have Mock Up Galore. This is uh, Hell Witch, The Forsaken. This is the uh, Lavidia Mock Up. Now, some people are like, what the heck is a mock up? Well, the mock ups are what we use for a lot of our video presentations we do. And they also come with this really nice, fancy COA and really cool silver sticker that we put on these. Now, mock-ups are always listed as is items because we use them for videos, so they do get touched a lot. They're moved around for um, photo shoots or video shoots. But these are real unique items, and I'll explain why in the COA. 
Coffin Comics produces mock-up editions to market and promote upcoming editions to readers and collectors. They frequently have no interior printing, uh, are not the final product, and are handled during promotion. Hence, they are prone for, to imperfections. Mock-up editions, which range in the number from one to four copies per select edition, are assets of Coffin Comics until sold or gifted. Mock editions are offered, offered <laughs> in as-is condition and will not be reprinted. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of the mock-up edition, except no imitations. So, here is a mock-up edition. The Lovidia edition. I got it right here. One, 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 one. That's all I got is one. Another really beautiful piece. This is Hellwitch Gallery. It is another mock-up. It is the Collect Turner Hellwitch Premier Edition. Only 45 of this original of the edition, this is a mock-up of, were only 45 of these. So not a lot of editions of this. And with a mock-up, it's even rarer. It does come with a nice mock-up COA. Get them while I got them, folks. You guys made Hellwitch uh, an amazing new character uh, with the Kickstarter. So I figured it should only be prudent that I put out some really beautiful Hell Witch stuff that I have here from the catacombs. I have an artist proof. Hell Witch, the Forsaken. This is a metallic jewel. This is an AP5. This is an artist proof number five. It is a metal cover with Schwarzky jewels or crystals, I should say. Embellished along the cover. I have not had my vodka, so I can't say Schwarzky's correctly. And I know... At least Haley and Miguel and a couple others are chuckling at their computer screens right now because, yeah, that's what they are. They're bullies, but that's okay. We love you guys all. All right. Another artist proof. Oops. Is that right? Yes, that is right. All right. Another artist proof. This is another AP. This is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the Crystal Metallico edition. Just see which ones are the artists. Look at how stunning that is. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Metallic cover with the crystals enhancements along in the different markings of her face and inside her hair with the roses as well. Really beautiful piece. This is an AP. All right. <clears throat> Another uh, one and done. This is the last one. I haven't found any more of these. This is the Lady Death Devotions. This is the only one I could find. Cover is by Justin Hunt. Mm -hmm. That was the original version. <laughs> Jay, that was the one you attach and say revise. That's the one I printed, but I'll do it again next time. Sorry about that, Jay. <laughs> This is also, this is a virgin art. Oh, oh, wait, I'm not on that channel. Okay, this is a virgin art. I can say that here, I think. I guess we'll find out. Um, Mike DeBalfo Instant. This is the last one. It's number 100 out of 199, and it is signed by Brian. And I only have one of these available. So a lot of these are going to be onesies. Last of the last. Booyah, it's gone. Uh, this one we offered earlier this year, and um, really beautiful, flew right out. Um, only 80 editions were made. This is number 45. This is Lady Death Chaos Rules. This is the Ritual Holofoil Edition. This is absolutely beautiful piece. Well, I will say this, Jay. Um, you really have a good flow... Um, with your poetry. I really like reading your stuff out loud. And um, those who know me personally, uh, reading out loud, I, I get a little nervous. So again, with this show, it's helping me get over some of these little nervous jitters and ticks I have. Um, so reading things out loud, it's um, <clears throat> definitely uh, helped me get over a little bit of that phobia of saying things out loud, or at least reading out loud and not being nervous. So uh, keep them coming, Jay. Um, I'll read the uh, revised edition um, next week um, as a way to make it up to you. So thank you. Um, also, let me know, Jay. I have um, 
uh, something I wanted to give to you. Um, let me know uh, whenever you're planning to uh, place an, an order with this or something. I want to throw something in for you as a, a little gift and a way of saying thank you. Next up, these are the last two copies we have. These are also metal covers. This is the Lady Death Scorched Earth. This is the Heavy Metal Edition. I only have two left. These are the last two we have been able to find here in the warehouse and at HQ. So these are our last two numbered copies. Last ones are 293 and 297. These are our last two that I've been able to find. Uh, Brandy Dakota uh, set aside stock for me to present to you guys. Usually it's the last of the last. And those are them. Those are my last two copies. So pretty much everything on here is either a mock-up, an artist proof, or this is the end of the stock. Next up, I got two of these. These are the last two. This is La Muerta Descent. This is the Gomez Metal Edition. These are like a BP Coffin Edition. These are mock-ups. Uh, the interior is slightly different, if I recall. I could be wrong. It's been a while. I made these, gosh, years ago. Nope, it has, it has the uh, Retribution interiors because we were using these as uh, mock-ups to show up stuff so these are it guys last two copies voila that's it they're done another last two copies i have of items as well is lady death sworn number one these are the moonlight editions number 112 and 113 these are my last two copies i have in stock at the moment I have yet to find any that are not uh, vault copies uh, at this stage of the game for these two. So if you are interested, we got two of these available right now. These are our last two editions. And um, the Catacombs has been rocking really big, so I'm, I'm really uh, humbled by all the great comments and just you guys just loving what we're putting out. Um, thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying what we're throwing out there. Um, I, I take this uh, very seriously. I like to dig around and work hard to find those really cool stuff. And uh, the next few weeks, you'll start seeing a lot of older content and extremely limited onesies stuff um, once I get everything figured out on how to present them to you and make sure it's something we can actually ship. Uh, so expect a lot of fun surprises coming up, um, especially some classic stuff um, I'll be throwing out here on the catacombs soon. Um, so definitely stay tuned. I'm just going to grab myself a quick drink of water and see who's on here and anyone has any questions. Ooh, boy. Okay, that sounds great, Jay. Jeffrey Walsh. Jeffrey Walsh, dude. Thank you. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. And, um... The vault stuff, that's uh, it's going to be crazy uh, for Black Friday. So, yeah, um, I can't wait to see what Brian is going to reveal on Friday coming up. I'm very excited because sometimes when he reveals his stuff, guys, it's the first time um, a lot of us are sometimes seeing them as well. Um, sometimes it's just like a photo or something of the image, but it's like not the finished product. So... A lot of times um, I get really excited because it's like Christmas because I get to show off um, and see new product that we got coming down the pipeline for you guys. And it's exciting for me too because I get to see a lot of these great things we make and we present it out there to the public. It's, it's nice to be a part of that. Let's see. But yeah, Eric, there's, there's going to be some crazy stuff. Uh, thank you, Brandy. Um, Jay. Who else we got in the house? Um, I wanted to see if there's someone I could bring on. Oh, I can't bring on myself. <laughs> Let me interview myself. Hooligan interviews Julian. Uh, that sounds like a crazy person. Okay, real quick, guys. There's been a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of crazy news I'm hearing in the comic industry, and that's why I am so happy to be working where I am at because um, we are the little company that could, would, and we will keep on trucking and just hauling up that hill that is the industry. We're climbing it high, and um, I think the backing you guys did of the new Hell Witch Kickstarter just shows that um, we're here to stay. 
Um, we're just going to get bigger. We're just going to get better. And um, it's all because of the support from everyone that has backed us on Kickstarter and it has become a regular reader and fan of all things Coffin Comics. And if you are a fan of Coffin Comics, well, we've got some new merch uh, I like to show. I, uh, I'm glad we're finally selling this stuff. It's a lot of fun. And when everything opens back up at the cons, I expect to see and hear some of this stuff at shows. So, like, um, my favorite thing is the cowbell. We have these available. It is a real cowbell. This is the things we always do in our videos to hype it. So we have them available so you can help hype Coffin Comics at home. And it shows when cons cut, get back and everything opens up and we're finally like, ah, 2020 is behind us, thank goodness. I want to hear these at cons. When I see videos of people at cons, I expect to hear cowbell somewhere in the background because that's what I know. <laughs> the Sworn and the Fiends are out there and they're letting it be known they're there for Coffin Comics. So please, please, please check that out, guys. Some other really great drinkware stuff we have added to the merchandise, and they are going fast. We are almost out of shot glass sets. Comes with the four beautifully nice thick. This is the type of stuff you definitely want to do shots at every time we're celebrating the opening or closing a Kickstarter, or just because it's Friday night. You're hanging out with Coffin Comics where you do those fun little promos around 4 o'clock on Fridays. Well, now you can raise a toast and join us. So these are available as a four-piece set. They are going quick. Other cool items. Hey, we all love our coffee here at Coffin Comics, and we have a feeling you will too. Or even a nice cup of tea or maybe a nice warm hot chocolate. Nothing goes better inside your Coffin Comics coffee mug. Highly recommend these. I have one. We are always drinking out of them here at HQ. Uh, Brandy always makes some really good gourmet coffee to get our motors running and keep them going all day. Well, we enjoy them in these mugs, and I think you'll enjoy your morning warm beverage in one as well. These are still available at the Coffin Comics shop. Get them, get them, get them before they are gone. Another thing we're selling too that's added merchandise is our nice, awesome pint glasses. Coffin Comics pint glasses. Nothing looks better than a nice mixed drink. Mine is a rum and coke, although I do think um, the itchings for a Bloody Mary this weekend uh, might be in order, and I think a Bloody Mary would look amazing in this glass. Or if you're a traditionalist, just pour yourself a nice lager, a nice ale, or just a nice cool PBR. Fill that glass up. Yes, very good. Get it while we got them. We have very limited supplies of all this material. Once it's gone, that's it. We are sold out. So don't him, don't ha. We also have stadium cups. Wonderful little stadium cups. This is what I use all the time when I'm doing my shows with you guys and I need a drink of water. I always have my trusty Coffin Comics cup ready. Black is my soul. So, yeah, guys, pick these up. These are uh, limited items. We only have, well, some of this stuff is close to selling out. So get your sets today. Get your drinkware on. Get the cowbell on so I can hear you guys at cons. Because that's what I can't wait is when everything's back to normal. Cons are going like they were. And we only have to worry about the con crud, which is a miserable experience. For those who've done lots of conventions, you know what I'm talking about. Um... I want to hear cowbell on those videos. And somewhere in the background, I expect, just like Jaws, dun -a, dun -a, dun -a, the sworn foam fingers. Yes, you two can run around, be a maniac at shows, be a maniac at home with your sworn foam finger. Try saying that three times fast. I won't, even though some of you guys in the audience will make sure I do. Not today. Ha ha. Look at you, Miguel. I'm looking at you, Haley. Always the ones that are trying to turn me out like that. All right, what do we got here? Messages, messages, messages. Coffee mug is great. <laughs> right on, Jeff. What is the first beverage you put in it, Jeffrey? What is the first thing when you opened up your box and you saw your pint glass? What's the first drink you put in that? 
When I got my coffin comic pot glass home, I had a nice rum and coke in that, and it was tasty. And um, I haven't done anything like a Irish coffee yet, but I think that should be in order. Um, Jay, cool. Uh, yeah, these coffee mugs are really good. They're no joke. They're nice, good quality coffee mugs. We don't play. Uh, when we do our merchandise, it is nice, good quality glass, uh, ceramic, metal for them cowbells. <laughs> also, a um, big shout out and a very big happy birthday to someone that is really special, I think, to everyone who's on here. And um, uh, I have gotten to know him uh, quite well this year. Uh, and I want to b give out a big shout out and a big happy birthday to Bob Chronister. Thank you, Bob, for everything you do to the community for the Sworn and the Fiends. Um, I love having you on the shows uh, when I invite um, viewers on. It's always a pleasure to have you. So everyone, um, if we could all sing a happy birthday to Bob uh, on the count of three. You could, don't have to do it on the, you could do it at home. I won't see it. You're, unfortunately, you guys are going to hear me sing happy birthday, but I hope you guys are singing along at home. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bob Cronster. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to give you a shimmy. Ready for it? That's for you, Bob. Happy birthday. Now you've seen it. It cannot be unsung. Oh, happy birthday, Bob. Coffee. Really, I am a big coffee drinker too. Um, Interesting, Jay. I um, have cut down on my drinking a lot. I used to drink a ton, um, and I had to get back some self-control, so I can relate with that. I can totally relate with that. But that just means, Swornfest, you and I are going to have a nice, hot cup of coffee. <laughs> so, anyways, i got a couple minutes left. Um, again, thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us today. Thank you so much for an amazing hell witch kickstarter closing um you guys really just keep knocking it out of the park for us we are all humbled here at hq um <laughs> just when we we think um it's like you know you know how are we gonna pull this off how are we gonna pull this off it happens it works and it's all because of your guys's dedication that um we continue to have the success we do so I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to go get me some food because I am hungry. And then I got a bunch of uh, metal covers I need to get done and get made so we can get uh, some stuff taken care of and get some orders filled. Anyways, I've been Julian the Hooligan with my awesome new jumpsuit made for me by my beloved wife, Susie Powell Moraga. Thank you very much, honey. Everybody, have a great rest of your week. It's Wednesday. We're almost done. The weekend is right around that corner right there. Right around that corner is the weekend. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week. I'm sworn to you. We'll be seeing you guys probably on Friday when Brian will be making some special announcements. So say it once, say it twice. Sworn, sworn, sworn. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Make it your own.